Hello everyone, Legend of Eon here, and I've got for you guys another Card War video. And thanks for Cryptozoic Entertainment for sponsoring this video as well. Wait for the end for some awesome announcements. Shout out to my boy Adrian. He's going to be playing the Immortal Maze Walker deck using the Cornfield and Useless Swamps. I will be using the Icy Lands deck. We've already shuffled each other's cards and drew our hands. Adrian will be going first. He starts things off by playing a building, which allows him to draw one card. If he controls a creature, he discards one card. Then he follows up that play by playing Popcorn Butterfly, which draws him a card for each building he controls. Because it's his first turn, he's not allowed to activate any floop abilities. On my turn, I spend two of my actions playing the spell, freezing all of my opponent's landscapes, and if they want to play any more creatures on that landscape, they have to discard one card. On his turn, he floops the pyramid to draw an extra card. You can't see it here, but he does discard one card to get rid of the frozen token on the cornfield landscape. And he plays the Immortal Maze Walker! He floops the butterfly to draw one card since he only has one building out. Then he attacks him for a total of six damage. On my turn, I play Unempty Coffin, which allows me to play a creature for free, and I play the 4-star Fudge. I start things off by playing Icing, which allows me to target two landscapes and freeze them with the 4-star Fudge ability, allows me to draw two cards off of that ability, and then draw the one card from Icing. Then, for my second action, I play Bomb Pop, which destroys target creature on a landscape with a frozen token on it. See you later. Then I attack for two, and that is the end of my turn. This time around, he actually did forget to discard a card for the Log Knight, but he eventually does. Uh, Log Knight has a cool ability, which allows to play any building from his hand. He plays Cardboard Mansion, which normally costs 5 actions. With Log Knight ability, you're able to play around that. The Cardboard Mansion allows him to get 1 action every turn. Then he floops his Butterfly and his Pyramid to draw 3 additional cards. Again, you don't see it here, but he does discard 2 cards. Then he floops the Mansion to gain the additional actions, and he plays two more butterflies, then floops them, and is able to draw two cards each, a total of four cards total for those guys. Here he tries to play a building that already has a building on it, but it, because it's flooped, he can't replace it. He can only replace cards that are ready. Otherwise, we're an epic turn. On my turn, I play Snowballer, which allows me to deal 3 damage to any target creature as long as I remove a frozen token from Snowballer's landscape. I followed it up by playing Snowblower, which allows me to choose a lane and it freezes both of that lane. And of course, I chose the lane where Snowballer is on. I then use Snowballer's effect to deal 3 damage to the butterfly and with 4 star fudge effect, I was able to draw 2 cards. I then attacked with 4 star fudge into the log knight and the snowballer into the butterfly, knocking them both out. It was now Adrian's turn and he readied all of his cards. It may be hard to see but my life total is at 19 and he's at 23. He started off strong by flooping both of his butterflies and drawing 6 cards. Then he floops the pyramid to draw one card. Because he controls no creatures, he does not have to discard a card. Then he played a card called Beach Blast, which was a new card added to the deck. Uh, which is a really strong card, allows you to reveal the top three cards, and you draw one and you discard the rest. I believe he did add the Immortal Maya's Walker. He also flooped the mansion, so now he's back up to two actions. He then plays Blue Murloc, which has a floop ability, which allows him to draw a card and discard a card. 
after that, he plays a building, which allows him to discard as many cards as he likes, and the creature in that lane gets plus one attack for each card he discarded. Because all of his creatures are fluked, he is not ready to battle, and thus he turns it over to me. On my turn, I play Snowway, freezing two target landscapes. And with the 4 star fudge ability, I'm able to draw two additional cards. It's lovely when a sleigh ride together with you. I use the Sleigh Rider's Floop ability to deal 3 damage to the butterfly, then the Snowballer ability to knock it out of the park. I then use the 4 star fudge to tag into the blue murloc and then the snowballer to attack directly for 2 damage. After that, that was the end of my turn. To be honest, I was set. I felt like I had a good defense, I passed my turn over, he ain't gonna do nothing. But boy was I wrong. He started off by drawing a whole bunch of cards flooping the pyramid and the butterfly. Not only did he play one, but he played two full metal rackets. Then he played the Sword of Bouquet, which dealt one damage to a target creature for every card he's drawn, which he's drawn six cards. That uh, knocked out my four star fudge. No! He then replaced his Blue Murloc for a Immortal Maze Walker! He then played his own unempty coffin to play. Then he used a third full metal racket to knock out my Slade Rider. Oh no! Then he's gonna buff it up with Singing Sword. For every two cards he's drawn, he's gonna get plus one attack, making it so that he deals 15 damage total. Then he's gonna put on those calzones de ayer, and then because I have no creatures out, he's gonna attack me directly, and I lose. No! That was a good game. Since I lost, I got a drink out of this dweep cup. Ugh. <laughs> but all jokes aside, Cryptozoic Entertainment is celebrating their 10th anniversary Ultimate Collection. In their first bundle, you've got the 6 Collector's Pack, which has 12 decks, all packed into this amazing box here. It's going to be able to hold all of your cards, and also you've got extra hero cards to unlock as well. In this next bundle, we've got the doubles tournament, which includes four decks. You're able to pair up with multiple friends on 2v2. It's also got nine additional hero cards. I provided a link in the description box below for you guys. This is the only way to access all this cool stuff. Not only does it help out my channel, but it helps Cryptozoic Entertainment make Card Wars even more accessible for everyone. I am so excited for this playmat to come out. Just look at it. I am a sucker for playmats. It's a 22 by 32 and provides an ideal playing surface to share with your friends. The Kickstarter program will release in September 2024, however the pledge will end in December 15th, which is right around the corner. If you have any questions, feel free to comment right below. And again, thanks for watching the video and see you next time. Peace!